Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Technical College for Life on the Farm. And joining me today is Brian Mickey. Brian, thank you so much for your time today. My pleasure. Thanks for being out here. Yep. And Brian, you are you work for Foxland Incorporated, correct? Yes, I do. I am a sales territory manager for uh, Foxland Incorporated. I cover from Door County to Milwaukee and from Lake Michigan to about Highway 41. And Brian, you know, Foxland Incorporated, you have multiple locations, right? Yes, our main office is out of Kakana. Uh, we also have a Stratford office and a Dodgeville location. So we, we in theoretically, we can cover pretty much the whole state, we, which we do. And then we also go up into the UP and uh, also travel out of state to uh, surrounding close by states. Try to stay close to home, but uh, right. go where the customers need us. Right, and you put a lot of miles on your truck, I'm sure. Yes, we do. I think of Foxland Incorporated, I think of Foxland Harvester. That was the company's previous name, right? That's uh, Foxland got its start uh, back in 1976 uh, mm -hmm. with a couple different things, primarily uh, putting up harvester silos. But uh, as farming has changed, Foxland has changed with it, and now we specialize more on manure systems in barns, uh, out of barns, uh, than moving manure for customers of all sizes. Right, and we don't, we don't see many harvester silos being built anymore, we unfortunately. Still, no, it's uh, it's changed. We still service them and uh, and put a few up every now and then, but uh, it is it has definitely changed. But the manure equipment is what I wanted to talk to you about. You are demoing kind of an interesting pump today, correct? Yes, we have a, a lagoon pump here today that uh, it kind of goes against a little bit of what a lot of other lagoon pumps do. This pump uh, runs on a 540 PTO, mm -hmm. and we only need a tractor that is right around 160 to 165 horse. So we're saving the customer the money of, of running a 200 or 250 horse power tractor. So you'll have savings on that on the tractor and then also fuel savings on top of it. Right, and, and explain to me how the pump is supposed to be used in the, in, in the manure pit. So that pump uh, can work either as a traditional lagoon pump for uh, pumping tank or loading tankers, but it also has a plate that can be removed that will make it function as uh, agitation prop also in addition to the pumping. Right. And that's what it's being used for today. Correct. correct. So, you know, talk about this efficiency you know we, I've, been, I've done many segments with you know we've got to be efficient with our cows with our feeding with everything else and it really comes down to being efficient at every aspect of a farm operation doesn't it it does uh, farmers have been told for years to become more efficient and they have to look at every aspect of their operation to see where they can cut corners to save a few dollars here and there and it all adds up over time right so Brian, thank you so much for your time today. I really appreciate uh, showing me what you got today. Thank you. So for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.